Hey, phone pen enthusiast. Today we have the Yin Hao 992 clear red chrome trim on the table, which I think from my own experience is a hidden gem. And as a little twist, we'll be comparing it to the luxurious Japanese Sailor. So this is one 1911 standard yellow, as it has about the same size and outer body design. But is the Sailor really 10 times worth the price of the Hin Hao? Let's find out. Grab your favorite ink bottle, sit back and let's get into it. Now let's talk about the 992. The first thing that catches your eyes is that stunning clear red resin body which you can see through its kind of demonstrator with a sleek chrome trim. I mean just look at it. I'm always really excited to have pens where you can see through and see every part and every piece of it. So it gets that special wipe. And also it's a really pocket-friendly pen that punches above its weight, although it's plastic through and through. Now let's dive into the specs. The 992 features a smooth, fine nib, so perfect for note-taking and also for low-budget paper or the really good paper which soaks the ink inside and where a line can get really, really thick and wet. I think F nib is the perfect thing for such situations. The body is lightweight making it easy to carry around and it has a screw on cap which I also appreciate for secure closure. Um, you see nothing can happen if it's closed, it's closed. But how does this compare to the Sailor 1911? Well, the Sailor 1911 is a whole different ball game. The yellow body screams luxury. It reminds me of the Mandarin Parker, which is about 900 euros today. And the 14K gold nib adds that yeah, extra touch of elegance. I really like this gold, this black, the yellow, the black. Wow, that one is really something different, you know, also from a design and color perspective. But let's not judge too quickly. Sometimes the underdog surprises us. Here we have them lined up side by side. The 992 is budget friendly, perfect for those looking to dip their toes into the fountain pen world without breaking the bank. On the other hand, the Sailor 1911 is more of a maybe collector's dream, boasting craftsmanship that's hard to beat from a well-known pen maker with a long history. But the real test is on paper, right? So let's do a quick writing sample. I'll be using both pens starting with the 992. And so let's see what's going to happen. Here I use usually use the Rodian Gold Book, it's called. Now, I use it for writing samples and let's see how both pens do. So let's see what this fine nap can do. So the nip glides smoothly across the paper. Ink flow is consistent. By the way, I'm using the Graf Faber Castell Cobalt Blue. So it's a cobalt blue inside. It's the same which I have in my Sailor 1911, so we can really do a comparison. So you see, it's not bad at all for a pen in this price range. So if you wanna like draw something, you can do this. I'm really gifted. I'm really a gifted painter, you know. 
So a little tree. Great. So now let's switch to the Sailor 1911 with a gold nib. And this pen gives a really different writing experience. I would even say so, it's a little bit drier than the 992, although it's kind of smoother, which you can expect because it's a gold nib versus a steel nib. The line variation is different and you can squeeze out a little bit but not too much. Reverse writing is not really good. So let's switch back and see what we can do here. Yeah, we see that the line and the flow is a little bit different. I mean, the line variance, it's about the same. And yeah, what you see here, if I'm also do my little drawing exercise, we see that I, I would say that the color is a little more present, more bold, it's thicker than the one of the 992, but still I don't feel so much difference, if I'm honest with you. Now here is the plot twist. Both pens deliver a fantastic writing experience, just in different ways. The 992 surprises with its affordability, while the Sailor 1911 dazzles with its craftsmanship. It's like comparing a reliable everyday car to a luxury sports car. Both get you there, but the journey is different. But the thing is, the 992 can be purchased for 15 euros, including shipping, and the Sailor costs about 150 euros, including shipping from Japan. So it's 10 times the 992. This is somehow hard to swallow. As far as I know, the 992, please don't hold me to the statement, is using this predatory pricing as an entry ticket to the market and to gain market share. A cheap alternative to try out the new brand. And I mean, as a customer, you have nothing to lose trying out such a cheap fountain pen. Yeah, I mean, that's a little bit shocking, actually. Honestly, it's the first time that I compare them both while shooting this video. And I must say, this one is not 10 times better than this one. Also, I like the design a lot more. And I like this one because it's the only yellow one and so different from the usual blacks and blues and all the other colors that you often see in fountain pens. But, well, that's interesting, you know. In conclusion, the Jinhao 992 clear red chrome trim is a budget-friendly contender that, that can hold its own. If you are just starting your fountain pen journey or looking for an everyday carry, this might be the one for you. But if you crave the prestige and craftsmanship of a luxury pen of the famous Japanese pen maker Sailor, this Sailor 1911 is a timeless choice. And I also really like this one because it has a yellow tone, but that's more a design choice. If you're just looking for a good writer, I'm afraid to say the Jin Hao is good enough. So yeah, you have to decide. So, which pen would you choose and why? Please drop your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button for more fountain pen adventures. Until next time, keep writing my friends and ciao!